As Universal's pay TV partnership with HBO expires at year's end, the studio's streaming service Peacock will officially take its place starting in 2022. All Universal filmed entertainment groups theatrical releases starting next year will play on Peacock during each Pick's Pay One Partner TV window, which is 120 days after a title's theatrical release. Each movie will become available on Peacock for an initial exclusive four-month window followed by the last four months in a traditional 18-month Pay One period. During those middle 10 months, the studio's film product will be licensed to additional partners. Prior to the pandemic, Theatrical releases typically hit pay cable channels some 200 days following their theatrical release. Under the new Peacock deal, there's a significant window crunch. I'm told that all UFEG movies will go though a typical PVOD and home entertainment sell-through and rental window before arriving at Peacock. I'm told that his segmentation has not been done before in the traditional pay one window. By uni showcasing content across multiple platforms throughout the first 18 months, their titles will refresh across the streaming sphere so that no title or platform is oversaturated. Universal is also currently developing original movies exclusively for Peacock which will debut next year as well. This past weekend, for the first time since Peacock was launched, Uni made DWA's The Boss Baby, family business available on its paid subscriber tiers. Given how young the service is, it didn't seem to ding the sequel's box office performance which rang up close to $20 million over four days. The new Peacock Uni deal covers all Universal, Focus Features, Illumination, and DreamWorks Animation theatrical releases. Note, the studio's recent half-billion grossing hit F9 will go to HBO in its first pay TV window as well as subsequent titles this year, I. E. M. Night Shyamalan's Old and Blumhouse's Halloween Kills. The 2022 Universal Slate includes Jurassic World, Dominion, Jordan Peele's new genre pick, DWA's The Bad Guys and Puss in Boots, The Last Wish as well as Illuminaten's Minions, The Rise of Gru. Since launching Peacock just one year ago, we have seen incredible viewership of movies and continue to expand our catalog with a range of films for every fan and occasion, said Matt Strauss, chairman, direct to consumer and international, NBC Universal in a statement. Universal Filmed Entertainment Group has been a fantastic partner and we are excited to not only bring their amazing slate of blockbuster films and beloved franchises to Peacock in the first pay window, but also provide a steady stream of fresh, original films exclusively for Peacock customers throughout the year.